It is now day 12 in the search for 58-year-old Leticia Martinez. She was last seen with a man at a Mariners game on March 31st. That man is 46-year-old Brett Gitchell, who was arrested on April 6th in connection with her disappearance. Here's a closer look at the timeline of events. On March 19th, investigators say Martinez and Gitchell met at the Costco in Soto. On March 31st, Martinez texted a photo of her and Gitchell at that game to a friend. And on April 2nd, court papers say her son was attacked by a man who told him his his mom was hurt and was in the hospital. Her son was able to fight off that attacker. On April 5th, Gitchell was taken into custody at a Costco in Shoreline. Fox 13's Frankie Thompson shares the very latest on the investigation tonight. Candles and flowers adorn the steps of Leticia Martinez's home, the last place her son Patrick saw his mother, the place her loved ones are hoping for her return. That's the most important thing that I'm thinking right now, anything that will help her bring her back to home. In one of her last known selfies, Leticia is pictured with 46-year-old Brett Gitchell, both at a Seattle Mariners game at T-Mobile Park on March 31st. Leticia's loved ones haven't seen or heard from her since. Two days later, on April 2nd, a call to 911 came from Patrick, lost and afraid in this Renton neighborhood. I was in the car with some guy, and I thought he was going to kidnap me, and I don't know, I just, yeah, he got in his car and he took off. Court documents say Patrick, who has a disability, was lured out of his home by Gitchell, claiming Patrick's mother was in an accident and he was there to take him to a hospital to see her. Never meeting him before, Patrick gets in the car with Gitchell and rides around South King County for two hours. When they arrived in Renton, court documents say Gitchell got in the back seat and tried to cover Patrick's face and neck, attempting to strangle him. In the fight for his life, Patrick bites and scratches Gitchell's hand. Court documents say during the struggle, Patrick's head was slammed into the car horn several times, heard by neighbors who called 911. Someone was looking and honking like crazy. Court documents say while Patrick was on the phone with the dispatcher trying to escape the suspect, Gitchell is heard in the background. Hey, you guys think that you were going to do something, man? Yeah, I'm looking for my wall. I'm killing Sorry. As Gitchell drove away from the Renton neighborhood, one resident is also on the phone with a dispatcher, unsure who Patrick was and why he was there. He's been standing outside, uh, like in the bushes, and I've been, we've been watching him through the window, and he kept pacing, pacing back and forth. Every time he sees a car coming his way, he hides in the bushes. Frankie Thompson, Fox 13 News.